begin to move in behind the Metro Home Building Center starting gate. Now let's go back upstairs for the call to track announcer Vance Cameron. Did you see that? One hot camshaft, swing girl, cougar gal, Woodmere finesse, jewel of Hanover, driving the dragon is outside. Starting gate swings around the turn. They're entering the stretch. Now approaching a start. The rough and pacing swing girl is leaping out. Jula Panover driving the dragon from the outside. Did you see that? Has the rail fourth into the turn. Away fifth is Cougar Gal, Woodmere Finance six, then the trailer. That's one hot camshaft. They straighten up the back stretch. Swing girl with McPherson on the lead early. Second, Julep Hanover driving the dragon's going to keep coming on the outside. Here comes Woodmere Finesse now on the move on the outside fourth. Fifth up the rail. Did you see that? One hot camshaft has taken over six. Now the trailer. That's Cougar Gal. 29 and three. Open it up. They're in a driving rainstorm right now in Charlottetown. And from the outside, Woodmere Finesse takes the lead with Perry Yall driving the dragon along the rail is now second. Swing Girl racing third. Jula Panover fourth. Fifth on the outside is one hot camshaft. Back into sixth. Did you see that? Cougar Gal derails the field. They're halfway home. And it's Woodmere Finesse clear on the lead. Fifty seven and two. That's an incredible opening half mile by the 5-8 to go. Woodmere Finesse by four. Driving the Dragon is second. From the outside, one hot camshaft third. Jula Panover comes on to be fourth. Swing Girl now fifth. Cougar Gal is sixth. Trailing the field. That did you see that? It's still all Woodmere Finesse in here. Three quarters in one. 27 and four. One hot camshaft on the outside second. Driving the Dragon third. Julep Hanover is up into fourth. And they're in the home stretch. And it's all Woodmere Finesse. Driving the Dragon is second. Julep Hanover one hot camshaft. Woodmere Finesse destroys them for very all. Second is one hot camshaft. Driving the Dragon hell third. Time for the mile in one. 57 one. Okay, we're going to get a look at the slow mo here for race eleven and driving the dragon and jason hughes they did make front there 29 and 3 and barrio did not wait he wanted to get to the front and pressure and hopefully hughes would release him and he did come into the half 57 and 2 they kept on rolling 127 and 4 to the three quarters and he just bottomed them out here tonight with this mayor jeff lily as his mayor really good right now time of the mile 157 and 1 that is an unbelievable mile on a night like tonight. And the two one-hot camshaft, Kenny Murphy, they rally up for the deuce and driving the dragon will settle for the show dough here. So we're looking at a 5-2-7 try here in the 11th at Red Shores. As my colleague Kurt just mentioned, trainer Jeff Lilly had this one ready to roll. An insane second quarter, 27 and 4, on one of the nastiest nights you'll ever race a horse in Charlottetown. Woodmere Finance in the winner's circle. Bay Pacing Mare 4 by Articulator from the drop off dam, Woodmere Teardrop. Owned by Ed Maher of Lower Saxon, Nova Scotia. Trained by Jeff Lilly. 
Joe Ferriero second winner on the night for the double and what a trip 157 and 1 Woodmere Finesse in her 15th lifetime victory